For the fourth consecutive Bank of Canada announcement, they have held rates. Rates are not going up and the key interest rate has stayed at 5%. Now, none of that should be news to most people. In fact, that's exactly what 95% of the people thought was going to happen in January. And now the conversation is, well, what happens next? If we remember back to last year, Bank of Canada increased rates 25 points in the same announcement. But they said after that that we're going into a conditional pause. But their wording was much different this time. And here's what stood out to me. Bank of Canada held its policy rate steady for the fourth consecutive meeting and explicitly stated for the first time it won't need to increase again if the economy evolves with its forecast. I'll be the first one to say there's a big if in there, if this happens, if that happens. And I think most people believe at some point that rates will go down. I don't think we're there yet, but it's probably going to happen at some point this year. My name is Tom Story. I appreciate you being back here on this video. I'm actually coming to you live from New York City. Well, not live, but this will pretty much come out as soon as I record it. I'm at a real estate conference here this week trying to gather more information about what could potentially happen because what's happening in the States will inevitably in some form impact Canada. One of the presenters this morning talked about this idea that this was the year of the fives. And he was talking about for the American real estate market, it'll be the year where the interest rates are in the fives, but probably the high fives, because remember, they're a lot higher than us. He also believed it was the year that price appreciation across the country will go up somewhere in the 5%. And then they also talked about the fact that about 5 million properties will sell. Now, of course, that many homes won't sell in Canada, but I thought about this. I'm like, you know what? It's probably pretty similar to what's going to happen here in Canada. Across the board, we'll see normal growth, maybe 3 to 5%. It could get up to 5%. I do think it will be the year of interest rates in the fives. I don't think we're yet getting there to concretely staying in the fours for a long period of time. And for the triple five, I think it's inventory. I think we're going to start this year in most markets in Canada with inventory in the fives, which puts us into balanced market territory. But inventory did come off the market at the end of last year very, very rapidly. And if you watch a lot of real estate channels, this won't be the first you've heard of this, but yeah, things have picked up in January. We've run into multiple offer situations already to start the year. It is certainly a lot more competitive than it was at the end of last year. I'm not going to say that prices are going up at this point. Things are selling, but they're selling at prices that I think makes sense. But there seems to be a little bit more optimism out there. And even though the inflation numbers in December, although we know that's a lagging indicator, it's not great that they went up. And that could force Bank of Canada to hold longer and not bring down rates in the summer like people think. But what's going to move the market today? It's going to be the five-year fixed rate. And the five-year fixed rate right now, for at least the buyers we're working with, that's what they're taking. And even the five-year bond yield, in the last two weeks, it has started creeping up a little bit again. When interest rates went up, prices went down. I think that's very clear. And if you do believe that interest rates will go down, whether that's on the fixed rate or Bank of Canada at some point this year, when that happens, it's also feasible to say that prices will go up. All the headlines today will be based on what Bank of Canada did, uh, but we all knew this was going to happen. I don't even think it matters what Bank of Canada does until it gets to the summer months. It's all going to be based on the five-year bond yield. I will say that there seems to be a level of confidence coming back to the market. But the last thing I want to say is you're going to hear a lot of people talking about the fact that the market is picking up because that's the truth. They're not lying like it is. But it's kind of like at the end of last year, we were stuck in traffic driving our cars at 5 to 10 kilometers per hour. Now we're driving at 40 kilometers per hour, but the speed limit's 100. It's nowhere near to what it used to be. It just feels like it's picking up compared to being very, very slow, like legitimately historically slow, 20-year low slow at the end of last year. So yes, the market seems to be trending in a direction that if you own real estate, it's looking more positive. But do I think 2024 is going to be a year of massive price increases and record sales volume? No, but I do believe it's gonna be better than last year. There's more optimism out there. We're talking to buyers and sellers every single day that at this point are like, we just wanna do something. We're not waiting for this to happen or this to happen. Obviously the mortgage renewals this year are gonna have some level of impact on the market. I'm very curious to what the January numbers are gonna look like specifically for my market in Toronto, but really for all across Canada. Yes, they're gonna look better than December, that's clear, but that kind of happens every single year. The spring market to me, when everyone's waiting to hit the market because this is normally the best time, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I do think prices will pick up then compared to now, but there's still a lot of question marks out there. So the year of five is maybe what I'll leave you with. I kind of like that idea. You know, maybe less than 5% growth in terms of real estate assets across Canada. 
interest rates in the five and inventory level in the fives, at least to start this year. If you're going to see that growth go up higher than 5%, you're going to have to see that months of inventory level get to under about two and a half. The numbers are always going to make the headlines, but then there's the conversations people are having right now because they're going to be entering the market in the next 90 days, whether that is a buyer or whether that is a seller. But then there's going to be your specific situation. And there's a lot of people, frankly, right now should not be buying real estate. And there's a lot of sellers that still have expectations that are nowhere near what the market is going to give them. So that's always going to be out there. If you're pricing stuff correctly right now, we've been a little bit surprised on the action we've seen so far in 2024. It's gone beyond our expectations and it's worked out very, very well for our sellers. And I do think already looking at some of the prices people paid in November, December, if we're going to have a year of a little bit of growth, they're looking pretty darn good. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Tom Story and remember home is where your story begins.